the most uncomfortable part of this procedure, I think, is getting on the table and putting you in like the stirrups. That's kind of like the birthing position that you know we put women in when they give birth, and yeah. it's a very vulnerable and position. And it's not a position you've probably been in very often. So, yeah. so, so, so I, so I honestly, that's the worst part of this. So, if you can get through that in your head, it'll be, it'll be fine. I'm here this week on the Eastern Cape of New Zealand in a little town of Gisborne and I'm here to film with a wonderful gentleman called Dr. Kornfeld who's leading an innovative study to improve and personalize prostate cancer diagnosis with the ultimate goal of catching the cancer earlier for better patient outcomes. In the past, patients wouldn't have imaging after a positive PSA screening test. Then when they went to biopsy, ultrasound would be used to guide needles into the prostate, but not into a specific target in the prostate. So some of the biopsies may go through the tumor, some of them don't go through the tumor. But you can imagine a case where none of the biopsies go through the tumor, and even though there's disease in the prostate, the biopsy doesn't detect it. The next step to improve things even better is to use one of these systems that actually fuses the images, so that when you're doing the ultrasound, and you're doing the biopsy, you're actually visually targeting the lesions that you identified on the MRI. And I think those two steps together will really improve the, the yield of, of prostate cancer screening. So Dan, this is a, a this 65 year old male, um, has been referred by his general practitioner uh, with an elevated prostate blood test of 14 and in a hard nodule uh, in the prostate gland on the right side. I've uh, worked closely with Dan. We've done MRI scans of the prostates for a long time. It's the standard of care here for men who have an elevated prostate blood test. We use cognitive infusion. That means that in the clinic room, I fuse the image that I see on the MRI scan, and I fuse that with my, in my mind, and we do the biopsies of the prostate. Now normally we, we would have done what we call a transrectal ultrasound, which is putting a probe into the back passage and biopsying the prostate that way. But do you understand today, this is a, new, this is a newer, newer way of doing it. Yeah. And we're going to do what we call a transperineal biopsy, and that's going through the, the skin between the scrotum and the anus. We're not doing the biopsies in the MR, and we're not using the MR in real time to target the tumors, uh, but we're using uh, a computer fusion system that takes the MR images, and then it fuses that with the ultrasound images that we obtain at the time of the biopsy. So the reason I'm doing it is because when we got the machine and got trained, he was sick. The hope is that, you know, he's gonna start doing these in the future, maybe. So eventually we need to get you on here with your bum here and your leg up here. So I'm just gonna anesthetize the skin now, okay? So we put that cream on, so this may feel like a little pinch, but it shouldn't be too bad, okay? We're using uh, a computer fusion system that takes the MR images, so. so these are the same MR images that we looked at on the screen just a couple minutes ago. And you can see I've kind of drawn circles around the contour of the prostate, and that tells the machine what the, what, where the prostate's margins are. And I've also drawn circles around where the targets are. I'm just going to set up my ultrasound probe. I'm going to feel some pressure. Yeah. And there's the prostate. Right there. yep. I'm doing the contouring so that we get good biopsies right now. It only hopefully takes about a minute. So I add point, apex points here. Okay, confirm. Beautiful. So now it's doing the fusion. Are you still okay? Yeah. The first lesion was to the right, correct? So we're going to yes. angle over to the right where I think it's going to be. And we're just going to do a virtual scan, and it's going to scan through. And then as we move our ultrasound probe inside the patient, instead of seeing ultrasound images, we see the contours of the tumors that we, uh, that we drew, we see those move around on the screen. And then we can aim our needle towards those targets. Thanks, so we'll UJ again, I'll put the bevel up this time. So you're going to be lesion one? Still lesion one. 
One, two, three, biopsy. It scanned and it showed you where the needle was. And then you point on the screen to confirm where the tip is. And the, and the blue part is the cutting trough of the biopsy needle. So it shows that there should be samples coming from right in the middle of this red lesion. So it's one step further from a cognitive biopsy. You're not relying on using your training and your skill to say, this tumor should be here, so that's where I'm going to biopsy. I actually have a target on the ultrasound screen that I can aim my needle towards. And that uh, increases the confidence that you're hitting your target immensely.